How much further is it to these foresters? Oh. Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. Oh, great. What that? My lord? Shh. Listen. There. Fuck. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. God, I wonder what have hap would have happened if I. Oh my god. Flayed man of House Bolton. Fuck them. Bloody hell. Oh. Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. I want to be like that, like my father. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Hmm. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Mist. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> no. Leave him alone, actually. Lord Ethan, he was I only know these doing... words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan. You must decide the punishment. Kill him. 
Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need yeah. to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A There's times of need. And I am the lord. I choose to show mercy. Mercy shows greater strength. Strength shows strength, my lord. No, not right my now. Lord, that guy needs... We must I'm, speak I'm... about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty. So I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust. I don't trust side. him. I don't trust him. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. You should have one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. Hmm. So do I want someone that Come is... speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. So do I do I have a sentinel that is I I need someone who Do I need someone who is willing to do what's necessary as in fight or do I need him who's re loyal and honourable and he's quite smart, I don't know, I'm taken to Duncan simply because if I talk to Duncan Duncan yes my lord I have much to consider and face a difficult decision perhaps I can help your father often sought my counsel As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Mm. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my Lord. I don't even ask him anything. Come on, I need to ask him something. Go back to it. I don't really fucking. I want to talk to this Flash guy. Right. That means now. Sword up. Swing left. Sorry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot 
Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And, uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. I want yes, to talk to him about the sentinel position. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Seeing you make good choices as a young lord. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sensible. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. I agree. I so, actually agree with that. When will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. What do you guys think? I can't, well, I can't, I don't really have your opinion right now because you're, um, not actually here, but. I think now is the time for action. How do we? Okay, I'm going to give the bracer to Sir Royland simply because... Let's just talk to this guy again. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. I don't have much time, do I? Jesus Christ. Anyway, I'm ready to name my... My Lord, sentinel. are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, yes I am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Right now, it's the time for action. So we need to make sacrifices. Duncan is a good man. But I think we're going to have to choose Sir Royland because he is the most capable of... You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Fuck. Um, Duncan is a good man, and he did what was right. He did what was right. This guy, he needs... He does action. We need action if we're going to beat Ramsay. Because Ramsay is a fuckwit. So, what I'm thinking... Duncan Sroyland. Oh my giddy aunt. 
Who? Oh, this is so hard. Um, ah, fuck. Okay, so we need action, right? So, okay, I'm gonna give it to Sir Royland because he... We need action at this time. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. Gods be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Let Duncan speak. I'd like to hear what he has to say. Duncan? I'm sorry, Lord Ethan. You have chosen your Sentinel. You should hear from him first. Wow. The Bolton do... sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall. And make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is. And have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! What shall we do, guys? I'm not going to use diplomacy. That's not going to work with fucking Ramsay, is it? Bargaining or fighting? I don't know about the men we have to bargain, but we do... Oh my god, this is fucked. Okay, I think we'll have to bargain... We'll have to bargain out Ironwood, because... Then... No, we'll fight. I want, I want, I want to fight Ramsay. I know it might not be the best thing to do, sorry about my phone, but... My sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face. Lord to Lord. Lord Ethan? Should we make him wait? That'll make him fucked off, though. I'm I will gonna make meet him, wait. him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down, 
at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. Fuck, we, we should have, have offered ironwood, house. actually. Oh, fuck me. This is gonna be fucked, but... If we strike fear, we might be able to... Situation. Lord, 